the TV and he said, Gentlemen, gentlemen, you have to stop this. Otherwise, you'll risk losing the dogs of war. You might let loose the dogs of war. And then Bush and Sudan, they like that. They cheer. They said, hooray, hooray. Let's let loose the dogs of war. That's right. Let's let loose those dogs of war. Feed those doggies. That's right. Feed those doggies on dog missions. Feed those dogs of war. Feed them, feed them, feed them. Oh, great. You're too good a shot. All right. You guys have another drink. Yay. All right. And then they got an analysis from the Pope. Pope Hagen Dazs the first. Yes, yes. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, our church has been able to turn water into wine, and we've been able to turn uh, we've been able to turn guilt into cash, uh, but we can't turn sand into oil. I don't know what to do about it. It's a mess. It's horrible. Uh, I think I'll have a drink. Yeah. All right. Boy, boy, this was really terrible. Because not only was it affecting Cardboard City, it was affecting the whole world. It seemed as if everybody was reacting, the whole world was cracking up just because one country decided to take the oil reserves of another country. Uh, uh, uh. Um, you know something? When I was a young man, I used to pump gas for Standard Oil. And it was in the Depression, and one night a guy came up and he stuck a, he stuck a gun into my ribs and he said, give me all your cash. Well, you know something I did? I gave him all the cash because I just figured my life was worth more than Standard Oil's money. And you know something? Here's your problem now. If you think that you have an inalienable right to oil, and if you can't live without oil, then you better be ready to go out there and fight for it. But if you don't, you won't. The best thing is to not need the oil so much that you have to go to a war to get it. Yay. That's my pal. The color red, I've always thought the color red is so exciting, and the color red means romance. That's powerful. And she came and she came out in a nice red dress. Oh boy, she looked great. She had this fabulous red dress on. She looked so sexy. I said, oh, Mona, you're looking so fabulous. I know just what you mean. You're looking so great. Give me a kiss. And then Fred said, right, lips power, lips power. Oh, Fred, call that crazy Fred. He got a big pair of lips. He says, that's it. The power of lips, the power of romance. Magnify your lips. Make them larger than life. Because remember, the lips are the on-ramp to the expressway of love. Oh. And Mona said, that's great, that's great. We'll all join the Love Club. I've got a Love Club t-shirt all ready. We'll all wear the Love Club t-shirt. And we can all ask for party. Yay. Yay for Father Happy. And the fires of love and romance will go out there and lighten everybody. Everybody in the world will be able to feel that romance. Feel those fires of love. Turn on everybody instead of fires of hate. And just let those love juices flow like Niagara Falls. Yeah. And if it's going to be a gun you're going to shoot, make sure it's that love gun. Shoot that love gun. Yes, sirree. Yeah. And never in anger. Only shoot that love gun when it means joy. And, and Fred came in and he says, oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. That's a good idea. But you know something? We should still try and figure out a way to recycle trash. Yeah, I said, what do you mean, so well, if we can use all that recycled trash instead of oil, we'll really be set. Yeah, it's pretty, boy. Yeah.